this. Okay, so let's get started. Let me share my screen. So today we're gonna to be talking about hashtags. It's something that I feel like everybody knows about, but don't really know a lot about it and how important it is. Sorry, my... Okay. All right. Okay, perfect. So what is a hashtag? So a hashtag is a word or a phrase preceded by the number sign or the pound sign. So a little fun fact, it's also called an octothorpe. Um, and it's also added, was added to the Oxford English Dictionary in 2010. So that's just a fun little piece of trivia for you. Um, so also it is a clickable. So what that means is you click the hashtag and that leads to um, posts using the same hashtag. And it was started on Twitter, but it is spread to Facebook and Instagram. And it really helps draw attention to your post and encourages interaction. Um, let's see. So why use a hashtag? So people want to find your content and it helps you stand out from the crowd. And it's used to categorize content, make it more discoverable. Um, it'll, it'll allow people to find posts that are re relevant to their interests. And uh, it goes just beyond your followers. It lets everybody on the platform see your content and helps you get found by your target audience. And it, uh, visibility, what I mean by visibility is when users search your brand, they'll see the relevant hashtags you're using. Or when they search a specific hashtag, they'll see your branded posts in the results. And this usually results in gaining new followers and potential customers. Um, and the more visibility, the larger the audience and a larger audience increases the likelihood of fresh leads for your business. Um, right. And so uh, hashtag basics. So no spaces, punctuation or special characters that will cause the tag to break. Um, uppercase letters will not alter your search. And I'll talk more about that in the next slide. Um, and different words can be distinguished with capital letters. So right here I did, I love mac and cheese instead of I love mac and cheese. You can kind of see how the second one, you, you kind of really have to think about the separate words and really look at it kind of harder than the first one. Um, so at a first glance, it's a little harder to read. Um, so you also wanna make sure your account is public. So a, pr a private account, you won't be able to see any of your the, the hashtag content. Um, and you can put them anywhere in the post. So beginning and middle, uh, either or, sorry about that. That's my email. <laughs> okay, so hashtag do's. So do follow the hashtags related to your line of business. Make sure it's relevant. So, and do be as specific as possible. So that's, it's important to perfect the art of targeting your audience. So broad terms aren't likely to be searched. And if you use them, your content will probably get lost in the sea of unrelated content. Um, and do get creative. You can really just experiment with whatever kind of hashtag you wanna do. And who knows, you might start a trend. <laughs> uh, and do make hashtags user-friendly and utilize capitalization. So capitalization, I'll also talk about that in my next slide too. It's the easiest way to ensure the users are reading your hashtag correctly. And use the hashtag in the body of your message too, instead of at the end. Uh, that's just a, fun, a better way. They, it doesn't have to be an afterthought to your post. Okay, so hashtag counts. You don't wanna overdo it. So in general, you don't wanna have more hashtags than you have words. Uh, too many hashtags will make your posts look spammy and drown the message. And it depends on the social channel. Instagram, you can kind of get away with using more hashtags than on Facebook. Um, don't use long hashtags. Uh, long hashtags are really hard to read, even with capital letters. Um, I would. I would use about three words per hashtag. You wanna keep it short and you wanna keep it memorable. 
and don't use random hashtags in a sentence like this picture. These are just some random hashtags. I don't know, I thought this picture was kind of funny. Um, <laughs> okay, and now we move on to Facebook. So Facebook is really in its preliminary stages of hashtags. They don't really, Facebook audience hasn't really grasped the idea of hashtags like other platforms. So, and Facebook also doesn't promote the use of hashtags. So you can really experiment with your hashtags on Facebook more so than on Instagram. So don't be afraid to experiment with the hashtags. And uh, on Facebook, less is definitely more. I would recommend about one to two hashtags. Three or four is fine. I wouldn't go any more than that. Um, one hashtag gets more engagement than none. So one is better than nothing. And too many hashtags will lead to fewer interactions. That's most likely to annoy the people reading your post if you have a million hashtags with that post. So right here, I have two pictures that I found on Facebook of just a good example of hashtag usage. They both use the branded hashtag, which I would recommend doing on the left. It, this was for Compass Real Estate. So they used hashtag Compass Real Estate, hashtag Compass Coming Soon. And then uh, this gentleman on the right is uh, Chad Wright, uh, real estate sold right. I, that's another good example of a branded hashtag. Uh, they both keep it simple. They don't drown the message with their hashtag, which I think is a really good usage of the hashtag here. Okay, and Instagram hashtags. So Instagram is really, really, really up with the hashtags. They really use the hashtags so you can, really use a lot of hashtags with Instagram if you want. It allows up to 30. So if you want, you can use all 30. I would recommend about 15 to 20, because you again, you don't want really want to look spammy. And use relevant hashtags. One of the best ways to get discovered uh, by a new audience is with the hashtags on Instagram. And adding random hashtags, even high traffic ones can really backfire on your business. Uh, not only will people feel duped by your content, but damage, it'll damage the trust in your brand. And fun fact, uh, a post with at least one Instagram hashtag averages 12.6% more engagement than posts without a hashtag. So that really shows you how important hashtags are on Instagram and for uh, creating more visibility with your brand. Um, but yeah, like I said, 30 hashtags. I would recommend using a little bit less than 30. I have a fun little example is I have an Instagram for my dog and I use about, I use about like 20 hashtags and that really increases following. So right here with my next point, hashtags build community. So with like my dog's Instagram, I'll use like corgis doing things or <laughs> or just like corgi, hashtag corgi and all these other corgi pages will start following me, will comment on my page. So it really, it really increases your visibility and gets you more follows and likes and increases that visibility. And so this other, this other point is to find related hashtags. So what you wanna do is type your hashtag into the search bar and then select tags from the drop down menu. And then you'll be able to see all the top hashtags that are closely related to your own hashtag, which will reveal additional ways to reach and monitor, engage with your community. And you can browse through these posts containing a hashtag you're having success with, and it'll give you some ideas for future hashtags. Um, right here, I have a good example of hashtag usage in an Instagram post. So it's not 30 hashtags, but it's not like four. It's a really good example of hashtag usage on Instagram. So it, it uses targeted hashtags like uh, lake life, uh, fine living, uh, homes, and then it uses location hashtags like West Shore Tahoe, California, uh, Lake Tahoe, and then, of course, the branded hashtag, which would be the Compass Real Estate, uh, Compass. So that's, that's a really good example right there of not overdoing it, but also just doing it. 
All right, so here are some examples of hashtags you could use with your own real estate brand. So on the left is just general real estate hashtags. I looked up what the top hashtags were for real estate and these were uh, just some of the few. Um, and then location specific really narrows down the field. And then branded real estate uh, with us, we would use hometown, hometown realty, your hometown realtor or your name or your team name. That's another way to get creative with your hashtags and just increase that visibility. All right, and strategies for using real estate hashtags. So what you wanna do is search the hashtag before you share it. So that'll ensure the content of associated with that hashtag is relevant and that it's appropriate um, and keep track of the hashtags you use frequently um, so help you it'll help you track which hashtags are most effective at gaining followers and yeah make note of which hashtags other agents are using you know spy on the competition see what's working for them and then use that for yourself um, and yeah, search for hashtags your potential leads might be using. You want to place yourself right in front of the people who are looking to buy and sell a home. And that's just the, one of the great things about hashtags is it'll put you right in, right in front of them. And switch it up. Don't be afraid to switch it up. Um, it'll, you'll reach different audiences, increase the likelihood of gaining new followers and leads. And then finally, just highlight your listing's best features. Uh, if your listing has like a really big pool, you can do hashtag pool, hashtag pool life, anything like that. Uh, if it's in the country, you can do hashtag country life, like anything like that. Uh, just highlight those best features and that'll really get you in front of your audience. Okay, so that's about it. Does anybody have any questions for me? If not, we can wrap it up. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for coming. I really appreciate it. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. All right. Yep. You're welcome. All right. Bye.